The long-awaited aircraft to be used in the spraying of the desert locust has finally landed in Uganda. This is two weeks after locusts invaded Uganda through Karamoja. Now the aircraft jetted into the country and were received at Moroto Airstrip, Karamoja sub-region. We'll take a look. The Desert Locusts Control Organization has delivered the long-awaited aircrafts to boost their spray against locusts, mainly in northern Uganda. The aircrafts were officially handed over to government at Moroto Airstrip. The Minister of State for Relief, Disaster Preparedness and Management, Musa Echeru, represented government, while Everest Magara represented the Desert Locusts Control Organization. Musa Echeru said, the way Uganda has handled the desert locusts has been unique in reality and technically. He said the political leadership is saying whether the desert locusts are mature or young, they have to be sprayed because they are a danger to the nation. The individuals shooting back, but now this one will be trying to take off. So, so that is the difference between this enemy and the other one. Echeru said Uganda has not hired the aircraft, but it is a member of the Desert Locust Control Organization, and therefore Uganda is a shareholder. He said all the expenses are paid by the locust organization except for spray chemicals. Uganda is a member of the Desert Locust Control mm. Organization. Mm. Uganda supports that organization by making its financial contribution. Mm. Uganda has made a very substantial contribution to it, mm. just like other it countries in the sub-region. Mm. The Desert Locust Control Organization was represented by Everest Magara, who assured Ugandans that the pesticides being used are not harmful to the people, livestock, or even the agricultural produce. Yes. Ethiopia, Somalia, yes. they have used those pesticides for the last 50 years or yes. so. Because for them every year, yes. they are doing this. Uganda People's Defense Forces head of disaster in the office of the Prime Minister, leading the operation in Teso sub-region, Brigadier General Stephen Oluka, held government for enforcing them. Thank the, uh, the government for putting another dimension to our, our effort. It is now two weeks since the locusts were first sighted in Amdat, Karamoja sub-region. The desert locusts have now been sighted in over 20 districts, but little damage has been reported. Dokas Kimono, UBC TV News.